giving preference to certain, certain groups of people. Um, I think just to give you some reason of what, what I'd expect to come out of this piece of work will be looking at the kind of outcomes that we're trying to achieve for certain target groups of people, uh, and then we'll be building up you know, policies around that. So in terms of are we trying to encourage certain age groups to get fit, etc. So I really would hope that we're getting into that, that territory that, uh, that uh, Councillor Taylor Could I just add that the people who contacted me and joined the Youth Forum Committee were all Glad to hear you to hear you say what you just said, Mark, about outcomes for target users. Because one of the things and we spent some time discussing it before, in fact quite a bit of time, is the the intelligence uh, and the fact that the whole decision making process as part of the review needs to be an intelligence led decision process. I don't think we're in a position uh, as a scrutiny. Smaller 
um, on the spends, but they are still being counted by the home spend on, on the full pavilion. There is a small couple hundred thousand pounds home spend on full pavilion costs. Uh, but what together comes to a million pounds uh, on the spend. So that's good news. And obviously that's helping to look, again, also mitigate some of the expense elsewhere in terms of family's well-being. Um, going through the report later on, there's, there's, there's some just details on savings. We've got the 41 million pounds of savings in the year to be achieved. Um, the ones that are read have been mitigated by just cutting to the quarter of one, just cutting the allocation that was put back on to the cabinet. Um, but the later tables are around debt, which is probably about outside the community in the sense of accounts tax, etc., more to business services. But it shows you down for the table, table man, uh, debt is for council. So that's a large of 23.4 million outstanding, uh, of which in terms of generation of buying 104 million. The vast majority of that's for family wellbeing. Again, social care, private advertising will be around uh, charging on properties that won't be still be used until 40 people pass away, etc. Mm -hmm. um, um, and so we've been fired with that, debt that's left at the time was debt that was less than, less than 10 days old. Um, so, in a nutshell, that's that kind of, kind of situation. Um, table 10 and just shows the kind of general balances. We're kind of, we need to have about 11, 11 and a half million pounds for future. And balances in our books, and we ran that kind of thing at the end. Is that the revenue report? Shall I go to the capital report? Please. Okay. Okay. Uh, Appendix 2 is the capital report. So this is the Shields Capital Program for the Council. Um, again, in terms of what tends to spend, um, the program has been revised during the period. The overall program is £38 million for the year. And for six months, we spent £10.6 million. So, sort of a lower profile. There does tend to be a high spend towards the end of the year, uh, but possibly we'll, we'll, we'll be doing that. Again, um, table one shows the program, um, it shows revision plans since the budget, £38 um, million total, and the spend of £10.5 million. And again, perhaps the areas that pop into our areas here are the environmental regeneration line, housing and community safety regeneration. Turn to um, paragraph 3.35. That's just got a commentary regarding some of the major schemes. Um, highways is a pretty big area in the potential program. Um, and it says there, for example, uh, 20 schemes for asphalting underway. Uh, micro asphalting schemes are some of those underway. It's just something they can look at. I think you can look at more detail than that. Um, Work on the dock bridges is part of the program as well. I think the contract has been awarded. So the only way is to continue on the dock bridges. And there's the West Cairn for flood alleviation, uh, which is awaiting some of the sign up from um, the Nirvana Agency. Uh, that they can make a scheme for the program. Okay. Uh, a bit of housing in there. Uh, there's been some new profiling in Table 2 during, during the year. So schemes have been, have been really assessed. Basically, a lot of that is around schemes moving from 1617 into 1718. Scheme to take place, which the phase will be slightly different. Okay. So, the later table will show how the, how the, how the scheme how the program is financed. Um, the program is £38 million in total. The table for, for shows the program is £38 million. Of the £38 million, £11 million is coming from what you are borrowing. £7 million for capital receipts, £100,000 for revenue, and £18.9 million roughly is for the grants. If members want to see a list of the schemes, appendix uh, one has a list of schemes uh, across the areas. So there's a section for regeneration of environments. This is 10.867. On page 137. Uh, over the then there's a, there's a section for housing and safety is a 43 million and a section for generation is about half being five foot so that's the that's the program. Then the other issue is in the road spans or the kind of major issues as such. Okay, thank you for that um both members. Any questions?
services. Uh, and he has lots of the um, different care budgets. It's a, it's, a bit, it's a bit split, really. So Graham has got the care budgets sitting in the hopper for himself. There's also delivery on with delivery of different services, and, and they with delivery. So in a it shows that we've two places. Okay, so it would be easy, I think, when we do the theme, the theming as before, that we can kind of, I hope we've got that aim. The operation might be bought in terms of those areas we got. Should see all delivery of business services, but there will also be a theme, people, uh, business environments, and different people basically acting to our So we we'll almost like there's two kinds of ways of getting the information. Okay, I mean, the concern is, is every year, as you say, adults are expanding this one out to mitigate it, so why don't we just act? steps in, in the budget to try and make budgets realistic and to try and, and to bring budget to land for options. The problem we have, of course, across the country is that as you social care across the country is facing pressures. Um, to, to, to increase the social care budget, we find additional savings to, to meet that. So it's, it's, it's a very different situation between two sides. Yeah. I, I take the point, what we know, it's, we know it's high pressure and then we overspend. So we, we, st we still have to find those savings somewhere and we can't rely on them. We need to plan those savings, not just rely on the fact there might be some trade in management. You know, this year it seems like it's been more like good luck than you know, anything else that's and then the other side will jump in and say we need more funding. But the point is that this is the reality, you know, that we need to have budgets that match. We can't just hope something good's going to happen. So I think if now
Steve Lighting um, provide Programme 16 in 2017 was spent. Um, what are we spending on and when will it be completed? So um, what, uh, what, what the money in the programme will be about will be, uh, in broad terms, we, we've introduced the first phase of LED street lights across the borough. So we've targeted the first 7,000 units on the main network. That scheme was finished uh, early on in the year and, and uh, obviously that's completed that project. This, this will be linked with the feasibility work around the potential second phase, I think, is the whole tier. So one of the things in our work plan for this year is to see if there's a business case for a second phase which goes out to uh, you know, the, the wider residential areas across the across the board. Yeah, uh, just, my, just my point there. In terms of street lighting and LEDs, I think mean, I there was a program in the previous year for about three million pounds worth of LED lighting. And so some of this is perhaps a residual handover work that is following through. Uh, I mean, we look forward to the, 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 the budgets that will be set by the various parties, but <coughs> where it's demand led and it's a statutory service coming to my area point, then it, it, it is more unpredictable than, say, our budget, which a lot of our budgets have big contracts, race contracts, etc. and so on and so on. So that's the reason. But I think you have to set at the beginning of the year what is a realistic parameter. But what I gather from Adult social services, we are being directly affected by the savage cuts and underfunding of the NHS, which is put more of a burden on our services due to, due to them not having the money to assist. So that is one of the reasons I believe there's extra pressure on that particular budget. But in terms of what our remit is a committee, we have a fairly good story to tell, a million pound fund spend, um, which, which is what we're here to do. But in terms of the general budget terms, goes back to the point that those services that are statutory are under increasing scrutiny again, so we need to engage in, in, in all the, the same exercises and the remodeling that we can possibly do. Um, I'm looking at page 119, no doubts, and there's 23.3 million there, and there's um, 3.5 Talk about write-offs and debt project calculations. Can I have that explained to me a little bit more, please? Is there part of the table that's on? Yeah. So the table there, the table from table 9 can show the debt outstanding at 30th of September.
to invest in that. So we we actually gained some money out of it. Probably the wrong person for us. So um, the, uh, the money for those two areas are from, are from different pots. So the, the allotment is money from council capital, uh, and uh, that money is around. We've got a number of allotment sites where to keep them viable and make sure they can be used as allotments, we have to spend money, capital money, on making sure that they're fit for purpose. Um, the pothole action fund money is actually an external grant. So you'll see that council resources is down to zero. So the pothole action fund money was actually money that was given to us, especially by the Department of Transport. And where the pothole money came from, what I'm saying is, it's a heck of a lot of money to spend on allotments, and we could do with more money. It's spent on the pothole. It's a grant, no, Chris? Yes, but the 206 was a grant. We still have a lot of potholes. So not allocating money to potholes,